Hey everybody, Tom Vassell here, and I'm going to show you a little bit of what a life, a week in the life of the Dice Tower is from my perspective. Um, so this, we don't really have any such thing as an ordinary week. This week happens to be done in December 2021, and so there's a couple things that I'm doing slightly differently this week, but there's things I do differently every week. Now, my week does not start Monday morning. It actually starts Saturday night-ish. I spent a good chunk of Saturday night working on the Kickstarter that we're launching in 2022. Um, but it almost always starts on Sunday night. Um, and so on Sunday night, there are several tasks that I have to get done so that I can jump feet first in Monday morning. <laughs> So everything has to do with the computer and getting things ready. So we have the Winter Spectacular come up with top 10 lists. So I've been writing those down. I use pads of paper. Every day I have to check my email. There are hundreds of emails. I would say about an average I go through 150 emails a day, although really only 50 of those really matter. I also will have to check the comments on our Dice Tower. I, I don't have to moderate the comments, I suppose. Uh, Chris Yee and Mike Delisio help go through the comments too, but it is something I like to read every comment we get. I don't respond to most of them. Of course, I don't have time for that, but I like to read them. I also come in and check on the analytics, see which videos are doing well. One of the things I like to do is look at my real time. This is just a good job here showing what videos are being watched right now. But the main thing I'm doing uh, on Sunday night, there's two main things. One is preparing for the week. So we have a Google document that I, f I build this document each week and populate it. Well, I build it way ahead of time. You can see it's done all the way to December 19th. Here's Monday. So you can see we have a Board Game Breakfast Live. Z is what's happening. And I have a Q&A. Those are the only three things happening tomorrow, likely. So then I look here, Vassal Family Reviews. So I'm going to go and you know type in the fact that we're playing uh, role player adventures um, and we're gonna I'm gonna put in the uh, the rating for that uh, later because I don't know what my kids rating is I know what mine is we see we have shoots of marbles a boring unboxing and I just realized today I don't have enough stuff to do a boring unboxing we're gonna drop that now you'll notice that drops Tuesday down to three videos which doesn't make me very happy. But um, I'm going to work and see something else I can find to put in there. You can see the rest of the week we're kind of full. We have a top 10, which we're probably going to do, but I'm going to have to have a meeting with the guys at work tomorrow to make sure that can go off. So I'm going to be filling in this information here. Now, another thing I do is look back. So look back here. I have to prepare this for Chris. So I have to delete the data from last week. And these are little comments to help me remember what the games are I'm talking about. And this shows page 35, Tiny Epic Dinosaurs. And what that does is I then go to Board Game Geek and I look at um, my profile, actually. And then I have to go to Contributions because this is really the only way I can think to do this in any kind of realistic fashion. I'll drive down here to Videos 6551, click that, and then... I remember it's on page 35 was where I was last. Now, it's not going to be page 35, likely, because I added some more reviews. But it gives me, nope, there it is, Tiny Epic Dinosaurs. And then I start looking at all these reviews. And then I go back to the sheets. I do five years ago the same thing, ten years ago the same thing, and fill that out. So we're here in the morning. We're unloading the car, bringing everything in, uh, turning the lights on in the studio. I'm the first one here normally. Uh, you can see there's, we moved some stuff around for our Thanksgiving thing. Ah, the calendar, Christmas things going up. So there's a lot to get ready in here. I usually come in and turn on all the lights in the different studios, getting ready. We have boxes. You can see Ruby's bringing boxes in now um, for the different studios, getting things ready. So that's the first thing, bring everything in. So first I go through and pick out all the games that I'm probably going to review this week. This is not 100% set in stone because we have a lot of stuff, you know, we're going to get done. Some of these games like Role Player Adventures are going to get done. Now I have to think about the schedule and what needs to get done first. I need to record the shelf reviews. 
um, because they take longer for Roy to work on. I need to record and look back because Chris is going to work on that. And I need to open up any boxes that came in. So that's what we do first. So here we have the boxes. This is the room that I record the unboxings in. I open up the boxes, quickly record the games, and then give them my kit. So it's time to get started on that. There's fewer boxes than normal, which is why I showed you earlier I canceled the unboxing. These will get added to the unboxing next week. So here I brought, I dragged the camera out of the room and I'm recording a couple shelf reviews here and tr doing it early in the morning before it gets too noisy in the studio. Although there's already people here, so I'm gonna end this video and go back to recording. So here you can see the camera. I just used my iPad. Um, I was showing you to look back last night um, when I redo did that. So I have the same thing here and I have my tabs so that I can, you know, see the different games. And this is what it looks like when I'm recording. I'm sitting right here. Hey, I can see myself in a big screen over here. That's for board game breakfast because that's the next thing we're going to record. Monday mornings are really busy here. Um, I, I have already, so I've recorded the unboxings, the two shelves, um, and the look back. I usually like to get a game started by now. So I'm actually going to set up the first game that I'm going to review to go over that because when I'm done with breakfast, I'm going to start recording that and we're going to have a meeting later on about the Winter Spectacular. So there's a lot of stuff coming. So let's keep moving. So right now I am, this is where I sit for board game breakfast. Mm -hmm. So you can see Mike over there. Well, you can't see Mike. You can see his legs. There's his hand. Mike sits there and runs the whole thing. Right now I'm currently watching a video, which I need to stop recording this because it's about to come back to me. So anyway, Anyway, so I'm watching the final thing here. I'm getting ready. We're about to close out board game breakfast. And then I immediately have some other things to do. By the way, here's my show notes for board game breakfast. Here's my shout outs. I have this. I have a computer. There's a lot of stuff going on. So it's now time to close out board game breakfast. What am I doing? Ah, just the outro. Here we go. All right, folks. Well, that's it for another board game breakfast. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget the contest. Until next time, you've been watching board game breakfast. There you go. Board game breakfast is over, and now you can see the table's a mess, but I'm kind of setting things up. Um, I always go through the rule book of each game when I do the overview for it, so I'm getting a little bit ready, uh, just getting different things ready to go here. So I'm going to be moving all these other games. Uh, I usually move them onto the floor in that spot just to prepare them while I, you know, as we do the reviews. I don't know how many reviews I'm going to get done today, but I have to get this one done because this review goes up tomorrow. And I usually, on Monday, my minimum goal is to get all Tuesday and Wednesday reviews done. And then on Wednesday, I want to get all, I mean, on Tuesday, I want to get all Thursday and Friday done, and Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. That you, and then I get my other stuff done on Thursday and Friday. We'll see where we end up this week. Okay, so I just recorded a review of my daughter's, so that's done and off the table. And I'm gonna be doing, uh, we just talked about lunch because we gotta fit lunch in here somewhere. We're gonna be meeting with the guys soon about the Winter Spectacular. And then um, right now I'm doing payroll because it's near the end of the month. So that's something I have to do each month to make sure everyone gets paid. I hear that people like that sort of thing. So yeah, it's been a busy Monday and man, this is this video is supposed to be all week. We better keep moving. I need to get more reviews done. Just a few hours left in the day on Monday. So here we go. Got my setup. Look at that. Seeing the game twice in two different focuses. All right, now I'm getting ready to do the a big overview. This is for Arc Nova. So this is for a four squares review. So this is the kind of one where I, I just spent the last half hour going over the rule book and setting things up. There's a lot of things that you do when you set up for a review. You always make sure that you have different cards of different types out there. I have a bunch of cards over here in order of me explaining some things about animals. I got some other cards over here. Those will be ready off screen. So there's a lot of setup to get done before going over the overview. This sort of overview always worries me a little more because it's a big one. But then again, it's not going to be super comprehensive. That being said, whew. and here we are. The girls are helping me clean up. And that's the end of the studio hours today. So here we are at night on Mondays. And what I do at night is I go through all the different Kickstarter projects and I'm kind of putting these together, trying to, and game found projects, um, to find the ones that fit. So I put the effort into this and when I'm done, I'm going to save it as a single page and send it to the other guys 
for their perusal for our crowd surfing episodes. All right, it's Tuesday morning and uh, on the way to work here, we're stopping and buying uh, supplies for the studio, snacks and other things. Uh, I have to do this once in a while. So got to go where it's cheap. Well, we have another wrench in our normality week. New computers just showed up, which is great, but that means we have it's to- It's just to rip it. I'm scared to rip it. It's, well, it's, gonna be, it's, it's a computer. Good. So we have to, uh, have to respect. start formatting and getting these computers ready while at the same time running everything. Yeah, well, you're happy until you start formatting it. No, I'm still happy. Now I'm here, I'm gonna unbox a couple more things for the boring unboxing. And also today is Tuesday. Tuesday's the longest day of the week because we do um, gaming here at the studio. So this is always where I look at the games here and I think, do I wanna unbox any of these? Like I'm, I'm tempted. Canopy and Brick and Mortar are both games that I'm kind of interested in trying out. And, you know, as I'm even looking at this, people are probably saying, you should play whatever, 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 you know. But we just don't have time to play everything, so I kind of grab the stuff I think will work. But we'll see. We'll see what happens as the day goes by. Just a quick pause here. I just reviewed Brian Boru. Now I'm setting up Silverwood Grove. This is going to be a negative review, a pretty pretty negative review. So when that happens, I always spend some time both going over the rule book, which in this case is trash. Um, but I also go online and read as much as I can, because when you want to, when you're going to say negative things, you, you're going to find that there's going to be some sort of feedback against it. So I always spend some time researching that a little bit to make sure I haven't missed something major. I still do sometimes, but I'm trying not to. Well, after I took a quick lunch break, played a bit of Hearthstone, ate a bit of soup, just refinished reviewing Battle Ball. So, um, yeah, just sitting here in the studio. Got back from doing your passport stuff and got more reviews and Marbles is coming up. Whew. I just finished a short review now and that's it for the reviews of this week. First of all, I got to go shuffle some things around in the library. I'm going to add some games to the library, take a few games out, record them in, check to see how my computer transfer stuff is going. It is 123 here, so it's time to start setting up for the marble track, getting some of that stuff ready. Okay, so we've cleaned up everything. I did some reorganization of this room. You can see the, the closet in here where I keep all the different stuff. There's all the marbles and all their glory. So this needs to be straightened up. We have a camera hidden in here, which we're about to bring out for the shoots of marbles. But I'm going to put together the track first. It's Tuesday night now. Marble races is over. And we are getting closer to the end of gaming. So we just have two tables going tonight. The one you just saw, I'm teaching them Arc Novum. And then there's a whole pile of people in here playing Rorschach. Chris is teaching it because he always teaches games. Look how hot that one lady is. So Laura came over and brought a pile of boxes from home that got delivered. So I figured, hey, I'm not in a game right now. Might as well open up some of these boxes for the boring unboxing. So boring unboxing, here we go. All right, it's early Wednesday morning. I'm at home eating breakfast and signing Christmas cards. So we sent out Christmas cards to some Kickstarter backers. So, oh, well, the dog's awake. All right, it's Wednesday. Now, I know that it seems like everything we do here at Dice Tower is super exciting, but I believe Wednesday morning would be pretty boring for you to watch. I got to clean up. We left the game set up from last night because it got to be pretty late. So I got to clean that up. And I have about two hours plus of emails to go through and some straightening up and things like that to do. So... Here we go, it's time for fun work. So yes, um, I said that today would be mostly boring emails, but we also burned a copy of Monopoly. A typical day here at the Dice Tower. Look at that thing burn. This will be a good background for Christmas. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. So we had the idea of turning my office into a, um, an office space where people can use it as an office because Camilla's working in there a lot and other people are in there. So I'm thinking about turning this little tiny closet into my office here. Of course, that needs, means I need to move this stuff. So I'm adding that to my schedule. I sent out like a couple hundred emails this morning. So I'm a little emailed out right now. I'll get back to doing more of it. 
But now I'm organizing. I think I'm gonna pull these shelves off the wall. I gotta say, um, it's all exciting playing board games and running the dice tower until it's email day. <laughs> I'm still doing emails. We're at noon at this point in time. All right, we're gonna take a break from the that stuff and get to recording uh, so what is crowd surfing. So that's what I'm doing here. We did crowd surfing. So now we're setting up for a Foursquare review of Arc Nova. Roy has to make sure that the thumbnail thumbnails in the background. Z has to, to to prime the pump here, you know, get ready. Z, say thumbnail. Thumbnail. There you go. Did that do anything? Well, Roy just did it. That's how it works. It's consistency. Ah, all right. Well, here we go. Time to review. I still have a lot of emails to do, but it is 530, and I got some things to do with the family, so... I'm going to head out and do them. I'll answer the rest of the email tonight. I know Wednesday was not a very exciting day, but that's how some days are. But I have a lot of work to do tomorrow. We're going to start recording some top tens. So that'll be fun. All right. It's Thursday after a day of emails. I got more emails to do today, but we got to unload the car. Look at all these boxes. This is for shipping things and purposes like that. So I needed to buy a pile of them. So all these holes in the wall where the shelves were, it's time to spackle. Okay, so the marble stuff is moved. Hey, I got my desk. I'm sitting here at my desk quickly doing emails, getting ready to continue moving some stuff. We record at Board Game Breakfast. It is 12.40. Um, and so we're recording a live top 10 soon. So lots of stuff to do yet today. I need to get moving. Thursday was kind of a uh, another day here. We I just got done with the top 10 recording. So then I went and worked. I got my office kind of set up here. It's not completely set up, but hey, I got the pictures up. It feels a little cozy getting things done in here. Um, but uh, yeah, so now I'm getting ready. Tomorrow's full bore recording top 10 lists. I got one done here, um, but I want to get a lot more done tomorrow. Camilla recorded one today. We did a lot of talking about the Winter Spectacular and who's going to be doing what. We'll be doing more of that tomorrow, but it looks like it's a wrap here for Thursday. I still have a lot of emails to do, but I do a lot of that at home. All right, it's Friday, last day of the week. Well, not really last day because sometimes I do some stuff on Saturday. But uh, as I get ready for today, um, think about the things I have to do. I have to, I, like I said yesterday, I'm going to keep doing the weekend review stuff. Um, oh, I'm going to do re review stuff. I'm going to do a bunch of top tens. I got my folder ready to go here. So just to kind of getting ready. It's garbage day, so the garbage needs to go out. I got lots of... Uh, emails to go through, as always. <laughs> You're starting to see email is a big chunk of my job. Got to work on the Dice Tower Library a little bit. We're going to have a meeting today about who is playing what in the uh, Winter Spectacular. On the table here, you can see some stuff. We're figuring out who is reviewing what. A bunch of uh, accessories. And um, yeah, so this is it. Friday. Everyone likes Fridays. I like Fridays as much as the next person. Here's the workroom now. This was once my office. Now is a workroom. Um, all right. Well, I don't got time to take more video because I need to get ready to do the Week in Review. So for Week in Review, I have a document that I put together where you can see these are the games from last week. So I compare that with this document. I put them together. This is so that Mike who, do, who edits Week in Review, has a quick reference of the games that are going to be on Week in Review. And also, when I do it, I'll pull it up on my iPad, and I have them in order from lowest to highest. That's a pretty high week, actually. I'm here on my stool, getting ready, have my iPad ready with the information to do Week in Review. So, I usually we usually try to run these things as we can. So, you'll see I turn it on myself, frame myself, because... Usually people are working. We don't usually frame each other. So I can look at the viewfinder. And the camera's far enough away. It really matters that it's far enough away because if you look at yourself in the viewfinder, you 
hopefully then your eyes look at the camera. If it's too close, then you have to not look at the viewfinder. Some things that you think about. Okay, whew, that was some work recording all those top tens. We just watched the final cut, all of the staff together, we watched the final cut of our best of or f funny clips from the dice tower over 2021 um i am working on getting i'm going to be doing an overview for foundations of rome i also need to pay a bill to a hotel so lots of things to do so one of the things that people you don't think about when you review but very rarely one of the things i have to do when i review is i have to stack everything what that means is so in this game, I wanted to show a setup here. Well, I'm not going to do the entire setup necessarily. So I throw all these markers here in the board to show this. But then I have to double check every card here to make sure that none of them are on those spots. And the top cards of the first deck are primed for that same thing. So when you pull cards in a review, they're not always quite random. On Friday, Holly is usually hard at work painting. So you can see her here. She's thrilled about being on video. Take a look at some of the stuff she's paid for Arcadia Quest pets. And now she's working on something for Adventure Tactics. Yay! I booked our appointment finally with a tattoo artist. And that is the end of the week. I have spent the last several hours on email. Sorry, folks, if you were expecting a much more dramatic week. Eh, the week's kind of toned down. Sometimes we play games, but I'm going to go home and play some games. I'm actually going to get a booster of for the vaccine today, so I'm probably I'm expecting to be sick on Saturday, but we'll see. But either way, there are still things that have to be done. There is putting pieces back in different games in the library. Holly's working on painting still. I got some sorting here to do. We just spent an, an hour or so talking about Dice Tower West, Dice Tower East and stuff. But uh, that's a little bit of what I do in the week. It never really does end. I'll be doing more tonight probably. But uh, hopefully that helps a little bit. You can see what's behind the scenes here at the Dice Tower. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been watching the Dice Tower.